Today I'm going to show you how to make these super cool little guitar shaped boxes for a wireless speaker. They're super easy to build and they make awesome gifts. Let's get started. The speakers for this box can be found at rockler.com and the rest of the materials are probably laying around your shop pretending to be scraps. The body of the speaker box is made from a couple of pieces of three quarter inch plywood sandwiched between a couple thin pieces of solid wood. The first step is to laminate two pieces of plywood just with some wood glue and some clamps, which gets you, ta-da, this. Now we're ready to lay out our guitar shape. We have a free PDF file that features these two designs available at the link in the description. I like to print them out on self-sticking paper so that I can just put them in place on the plywood blank. Start by cutting out the inside of the speaker box. Take your time, it doesn't need to be perfect because you won't see these inside cuts. Once you have the inside cut out, exit the blank through the curve you made at the beginning. With that done, move on to the outside of the box. Stay just on the outside edge of the lines. Now we're ready to attach our top and bottom panels. And you can use 1 8 to a quarter of an inch thick pieces and you can make it as fancy or keep it as simple as you want. It's up to you. I will be using a single piece of hardwood stock with clear finish, but you could use a piece of hardboard and paint it, or you can create a cool looking top with book matched pieces, which is when two pieces look like mirror images. You can purchase the thin stock or cut it yourself. Cutting thin slices for single piece or book matched pieces is easiest to do when using a technique called re-sawing with a bandsaw and then sanding the thin pieces smooth with a drum sander. We have a great video with my friend Rob Johnstone that walks you through how to do that. It's linked in the description. I cut these two pieces of ash to use for our project today, one for the top and the other for the back. And all we need to do now is glue them to the body of the box. First, I glued and clamped the saw curve shut. Then I glued on the faces. And by gluing on just one face at a time, I can go back to the bandsaw and trim them to match the shape of the body. It's really simple. I cut as close as I can using the plywood sides of the guitar as a guide. I'll clean up the edges with the spindle sander later. Now we need to shape the rest of the neck on our little instrument. I drew the shape of the neck that I want on the plywood and I've got it clamped like this to give me more control as I make these cuts. Now the last bit of machining we need to do is drill the holes for the speaker and the control panel. Use the template to mark the hole locations on the top and bottom. It's easiest to bore these holes with the drill press, but you could use a handheld drill driver if you go slowly. All right, it's time for sanding, that job we all love to hate, but let's get to it. I used a spindle sander to smooth the main body shape and a file and sandpaper to clean up the details. Okay, we are almost done. You can choose any kind of finish that you want for your little guitar here, but I've chosen an oil and urethane top coat. Installing the speaker is pretty simple. You just connect these wires and snap the speaker and the control into place. Well, there you have it, a cool little speaker box made from some scraps and a simple speaker kit. This was fun to make and you can get as creative as you want. I'm Christina Smith with Woodworkers Journal. Thanks for watching.